definitely experienced racism and discrimination from classmates or staff members. It could be from the color of my skin, um, the name of like my name, uh, what my name sounds like, um, my religion. You know, you're Muslim, so like, oh, like, bur, boom, and make, you know, terrorist jokes. A final report of the Lester B. Pearson School Board in Montreal's task force on equity and inclusion is urging them to address issues of racism and discrimination to make schools safer. Over 100 recommendations made Tuesday, a year after racist incidents happened within the school board's community. Every student who goes into any school, anywhere, should be going into a safe place. Served as a wake-up call for us. Actually, they were more of a rude awakening, as these behaviors do not reflect the values that we espouse at the Lesser B. Pearson School Board. Last year, two incidents in connection with schools the board oversees made headlines. A video posted to social media in June showing two young female students dressed in blackface using racial slurs and mocking the black community. And a yearbook published with a photo of a black student under the heading, most likely to become a wanted criminal. This sparked the creation of the task force where over 11 months, students, parents and alumni were heard, some detailing being singled out over their race. Sometimes teachers will turn a blind eye just to, cause, to not draw too much attention to it. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. Or it's okay. Just brush it off. It won't happen again. Or, oh, we'll speak to them. And then they just say, you know, that was not nice. Don't do that again. But that's it. Some educators may not realize that they were doing some of the things of which parents are complaining and which inadvertently hurt children. Dr. Lashley emphasized professional development for teachers and staff will be a key element of the work going forward. We have to put things in place that tells those parents, when you drop your kid off here, when your child goes in there, they're in a safe place. There are people who are going to look out for them. Other recommendations include reviewing board-wide policies and implementing a clear, defined section on racist and ethnic-related incidents, teaching tolerance on different religions, teaching more about holidays celebrated by religious groups that aren't Judeo-Christian, and having speakers that come from different cultural communities. The school board assures an action plan will be delivered in the fall. Meantime, Dr. Lashley says she hopes these changes catch on in other institutions and organizations. We have to do some self-examination. We've got to stop gazing at our navels and assuming that everything is fine the way it is. We know it's not. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.